Hey friends, today's video is a cottage style clean and decorate with me. I'll be switching up the decor in my kitchen and dining room with some new pieces as well as two DIYs that I cannot wait to share with you all. I found this mug holder at Goodwill for $2 and I thought it would look perfect here on my coffee bar and I also picked up these new mugs from the Hearth and Hand collection at Target. If you follow me on Instagram, I shared in stories that I sold my entire Ray Dunn collection this past weekend and honestly it was a long time coming. I used to be a huge collector for years and honestly my taste has just changed and it was taking up so much storage space in my kitchen so it was definitely time to let it go and find some new mugs that fit my current decor style. Tick-tock, the clock keeps ticking. I don't know what I should do and I wish you would be right here with me. My mind is filled with pictures of when we used to dance but our cut flower garden got so beat up during all the heavy winds we got from Elsa passing by, so unfortunately these are the last few flowers I was able to save. We are going to try growing our own mini pumpkins next, so we will see. I'm not much of a gardener, but I really enjoy it and I loved growing our cut flower garden with my son, so wish us luck and send any tips that you have for growing pumpkins. Where you are Miss you so bad, won't you come back to me? I've got you in my head, you're all that I see. I've lost all my chances, I know that I am too late. I'm thinking of you, I'm thinking of you, I'm thinking of you. Wondering if you're thinking about me too. Now it's too late, now it's too late. And today I'm using up the last of my Mrs. Myers cleaner that I picked up for spring in the scent Peony. This is my favorite spring scent and I saw at Target this past week that the Mrs. Myers fall line is out. So yes, I did buy the apple cider and acorn spice cleaners because they always sell out so fast and I didn't want to miss it because they are my all time favorite scents. But I'm still thinking of you. I have scars, the ones that healing They're all there because of you It's my fault, I messed it up and I should have treated you much better So much better I'm bringing back my tiered tray and putting together just a simple, neutral, farmhouse style tray just for the end of summer before I switch it up to my early fall decor. Last year I decorated for early fall with apples and a lot of copper pieces and I definitely plan to do more early fall decorating this year, so let me know if you are excited to see that. You so bad, won't you come back to me? I've got you in my head, you're all that I see. I've lost all my chances. I know that I am too late I'm thinking of you I'm thinking of you I'm thinking of you Wondering if you're thinking about me too Now it's too late I know it's too late I'm out of time Now it's too late I'm out of 
About a month or so ago, I stumbled upon this lemon thyme topiary at the Fresh Market, which is a grocery store near me, and I was able to keep it alive, so I went back for two more. They are very low maintenance. I water it maybe once a week, and they give me that farmhouse cottage vibe that I love. Okay, if you have been watching my videos for a while, you know I've been struggling to figure out a way to hang my copper pots in this space here above my stove, and today I'm sharing how I am finally doing it. I found this sign on clearance from the Hobby Lobby spring line for $12, and then we just cut it in half, and then I drilled hooks in it going all the way across. Now I'm using this really heavy duty scotch mounting tape and putting on as much as I can fit on the back just to make sure it will be extra secure and I can hang whatever I want. I already made sure to go ahead and clean the backsplash with alcohol wipes, so now I'm just going to press it on and then give it about an hour to set while I finish cleaning and decorating before I hang anything from it. I've been loving adding basket texture into my kitchen and since I have a lot of counter space, I like to set up different vignettes like the one I'm setting up here. This vanilla and fig candle is from Anthropology, and honestly, I only picked it up because I love the vintage look of the label, and luckily the scent is really good and also light. My allergies cannot handle candles that have really strong scents, and this one does not bother me. The pieces I'm putting above my fridge are ones that are very big and bulky to store, so I figured why not style them and display them here together above my fridge. Thank you. 
have a very cottage inspired idea for my pantry area here, which leads me into my other DIY I created for this video. All right, so now we are going to attempt a DIY. This beautiful textured bowl here is from Michael's. I believe I bought it this past spring, and it's just one of my favorite pieces. I love the size of it. I usually put some greenery in here, and yeah, I just love this piece, and I always wish that I bought more. So when I was at the Dollar Tree, I found this plastic bowl for a dollar, and I love that it had the same texture as the one from Michael's. And then I also found this pack of three from the Dollar Tree as well. So I am going to attempt to recreate this bowl. I'm mixing together garden lime and joint compound, which I already had both on hand from previous DIY projects. And mixing these together is going to give that really textured, almost cement look that I'm going for. I applied three coats to mine and allowed each layer to completely dry overnight before adding the next one. First time I ever saw you, I fell in love when you entered the room. And when the light hit your face, we were just kids, but I knew right away. I will be with you until I stop breathing I will keep loving you as long as my heart's beating Oh, hold me close Promise you won't let go I'm nothing without you I don't know what I would do without Unfortunately, I accidentally deleted the footage of me hot gluing the small bowl as the base and then using a matte white spray paint to get the white color, but that's what I did and I love how this $2 DIY turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And here is another one of the anthropology candles. This scent is good too. It's a bit stronger than the vanilla and fig, but I really just love the look of these jars. I think they look so vintage and just really pretty. Here are the pieces that I have laid out to hang above my stove. I definitely want to hang the pots, but I need a fourth item, so I found this wreath, or I was thinking maybe this conversion sign. Let me know which one you like best here, or if you think I should just keep looking for another copper piece to hang up here. And then I need your opinions on another new piece. I have had my eye on this teapot for years. It's a little pricey, but I used some of the money that I got selling my Ray Dunn collection to finally buy it. And now that I have it out here on my stove, I don't know if the pattern looks too busy in this space. I may save it to decorate for Christmas. It's definitely giving me more Christmas vibes than I think everyday vibes. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think the pattern looks too busy here? I have a black teapot that I always use as well as a copper one that I use seasonally. So I'm thinking I might need to use one of those for now. 
And then I wanted to switch up my table setting to something neutral and I found the cutest plates on sale at Kirkland's. They are melamine, which I love because I have two little kids and they are textured to look like they are made of wood. Plus, I think the design on them is just so beautiful. I will link these and anything else like the anthropology candles and other things from today's video down below. Alright friends, I love how the neutral cottage decor looks in this space and I think it's perfect for the end of summer as we are going into early fall. Make sure you are subscribed for more decorating videos and I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you next week.